Honorable Speaker, my name is uh, Mr. Mawera Mawero. Mr. Mawera. Yes, Council. I'll start with the, with the very macabre video that was played by the governors, by the governor, by the governor. In that video, where we've seen a cow being slaughtered, can we see the deputy governor in that video, or has a reference been made to the deputy governor in that video? He is not to be found. So, can that video be attributed to the deputy governor? No. In your document, in your volume two, from page one, from page one to page twenty-nine, you have next a if miss extract. Yes. The if miss extract is specifically from page seventeen to twenty-nine. Correct. Yes, it is. The if miss extract is for the office of the governor. That is the title. Yes. And the payment, payment details are between 1st of July 2022 and 7th of July 2023. That is easier. Yes, it is. And it has a timestamp on the bottom left corner. It has a timestamp on the bottom left corner. Of yes, which, it has. Yes, of it which is. specific page? It has, sorry. It has. It has. Yes. Has the governor produced an alternate if miss extract? An alternative if, if miss extract? None whatsoever. Are there, are there if miss receipts that are next to the governor's response? From page from page 105, you can turn with me, Honorable Speaker, to page 105 of, of, the, of the governor's response. Are the if miss extract, the if miss payments, or rather they're called if miss receipts, that are next there, there too, are they extra? Just a minute, of. Okay. Can you just confirm at page 105? Yes. The if miss receipt that is provided by the governor. Does it have a timestamp? It doesn't have any timestamp. Does it does it say the office from which it, it emanates? It doesn't state. Does it state the duration? It doesn't. So which of these two if miss extract should we believe? The one with the timestamp and the duration. Okay. You've been referred by the Governor's Council to page 22 of, the, of uh, our volume 2. That is the if miss extract. The voucher number. I believe 57562. You can see it? 57562. Yes. yes. You can see it? Yes. What is the amount? That is indicated on that voucher number? 84,000. Yes? Yes, 84,000. And I will speak a moment, I get to that page. That voucher number is with respect to who? Or who, who was it issued to? Who was that voucher number issued to? It was issued to Nefert Kenya. Ne to Nefert Kenya. Yes. And the Governor's Council has referred you to page 51 
of their volume two, correct? Yes. In fact, it is page 54 of their volume two. Yes. Correct? Yes. Where we see this trip that was made, that was made around between 7th to 9th of February 2023. Correct? Yes. Now turn to our volume two, page 22. That specific uh, voucher number 10. It is voucher number six, it is voucher number five, seven, five, six, two. Yes. Correct? Yes. Does the amount, because I can see the amount there is uh, 84,000. 84, Does it correspond with the amount that is on page 55? No, the amount on page 55 is 126,000. So there's an, there's an anomaly there? Yes, there's an anomaly. Okay. Turn to page 57, has that voucher that is provided there been signed or examined by the relevant officers? It has not been signed by the relevant you, you officers. You confirm it is still for, for Nefat Kenyo? Yes, it is for Nefat Kenyo. Is it, is it examined? No. Is it signed? No. Okay. Turn to, the vouch, the, to page 58 of volume 2 of the governor's, of the governor's uh, index. I'm sorry, you're not a speaker. Page 58 of the governor's index. You've been referred to voucher number 66649. Yes. What is the difference between voucher number 66649 on page 58 and the one on page 57? The one on page 58 has been signed by the examiner. Yes. It has been signed by the accountant. Yes. It has been signed by the AIE holder. Yes. And it has been signed by the director of accounts. Yes. The one on page 57 isn't signed by even a single officer. Okay. So those are glaring differences. Yes. And you, we cannot say for a fact that the vouchers appearing on those two on those two separate pages have met all the specifications or all the requirements before the impress is released. Sorry, come again. You cannot say for a fact that. The work that the, 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 the monies are represented by these two vouchers are regular because one is signed by, the, by, by all the required officers, the other one is not signed. I confirm. And you can confirm that the if Ms. Receipt that I've just shown to you that is annexed to the governor's response is just a MS Word table, a Microsoft Word table. Yes. No timestamp. No, nothing. It is not system generated. Yes. It, has ju it is just a creation of computer. And the governor has not produced an alternative IFMIS extract? None whatsoever. Okay. Have you in the impeachment motion stated the numbers of the, account of, of the, the motor vehicle registration numbers of the county government vehicles that were in the Makiri rally at Unviolent. No, I have not indicated the number. So you would agree then that the motor vehicle searches are not relevant because you've never, you've not made reference to a single motor vehicle registration number in the motion. They are not relevant in this case. Okay. Does the fact that you attended an Okolea rally provide a defense or sanitize the obvious irregularity or conflicting Okolea, which is a private charity with official government functions and programs? They can't. Does the fact, okay, not the fact, does the, the allegation that you supported that Okole rally with 100,000 sanitize that, 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 that irregular, irregularity? It can re regularize the doing of conflicting government resources and private charities. Okay. You were shown on our volume two, on our speaker that is our volume two, pages, 20, pages uh, 87. Council, your time is up. One question and wind up. Honorable uh, Speaker, if you're kind of can I have five minutes? I have uh, not more than five more questions to go. Your time is up, uh, Council. One question, you wind up. Okay. Uh, that gentleman may faint there. I mean, have mercy on uh, Honorable Evans. I'm, I'm guided according to Honorable Speaker. You were appointed 
to a letter, the, the letter appearing on page 86 of our volume two. Yes. That is the, the facilitation to travel. Yes. Where the governor's name appears. Yes, it appears. Turn with me to page 2 page when is the letter on page 86 dated 5th june 2023 when is the letter on page 87 dated 6th june 2023 so the letter by the county secretary on page 87 of our volume 2 was written was written a day after the letter on page 86 yes and the governor is not listed on the people on the mayor county delegation that is traveling to china i can confirm from that letter yes so can it be said or as the governor presented the identities of these people who she said are part of the real technical team, her relatives being an, an advanced team, as she presented the, the identities of these people. Sorry? As the governor presented the identities of the people she says are the real technical team, her relatives being an advanced team, as the identities or their request for clearance, as it been presented before this honorable house, Come again, cancel. But my question is, the governor says that our relatives went as part of an advanced team. Yes. I'm, I'm now asking, have the identities of these people who are to go as part of the technical team, given that she now alleges that our relatives are part of an, ad, of an advanced team, have the identities of these persons been disclosed? Yes. Where? The people who are to go after the travel... No, 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 sorry, ignore. Uh, no identity has been disclosed. No identity has been disclosed. Yes. And the governor is appearing on page 86 together with her siblings, who she says are part of the advanced team. Yes. So could the governor have traveled with relatives as part of the advanced team, while at the same time alleging that she was to travel with the other people who are to travel after this advanced team? Depending on this letter, there could have no, not been any other team that was to There is no possibility of, of a, another team. To of another it. team. Yes. This was the only team. Yes. And the governor's relatives were part of the technical team. Yes. Council, if it hits 20, 20 oh, one you last question. have to yield the microphone. One last question. One minute. Uh, very well, Honorable Speaker. All the allegations that, you, that, that you've proved, that you've made and presented the evidence, the, the work ticket number H24574 that has been used 17 times, has the governor discounted that that work ticket has been used 17 times? No way. You said the last question. That was indeed the last. So, counsel, you may have to yield the microphone. Uh, very well, the Honorable Speaker. Thank, Thank you. you for your patience. Thank you. Now, honorable senators, uh, pursuant to rule 23 of uh, the third schedule, you have the opportunity to seek clarification or ask questions. I will give you 20 minutes to do that, so that uh, from 10.40, we embark on the two witnesses and wind up. Uh, the honorable Olekina. Uh, 